Earth is teeming with life that is full of variety. Animals with no eyes, animals with eight eyes, plants that eat moths, and moths that drink blood. But how does it all fit together? Let's discover that today in this episode, all about biological organization. Life is full of order. It's organized in layers. Each one is both complex and connected. We call those layers the levels of biological organization. These layers include the tiny cells in our bodies to the entirety of all living things on our planet. And understanding this organization is important to understanding how all life on Earth is connected. Today, we're out here on the pond surrounded by life. I've spotted a little turtle warming up on a log. This turtle, like you and I, is an organism, an individual living thing. If we zoom in and out on our turtle friend, we will find these layers of life. Starting from the bottom, the levels of biological organization begin on the microscopic level with cells and end at the top with the sum of every living thing on our planet. It all starts with cells the basic building blocks of all living things, way before we have an entire turtle just hanging out on a log. All living things have cells, or are cells. In the case of single-celled organisms like bacteria, there are plant cells and animal cells, eukaryotic cells, and prokaryotic cells. We see tons of variety, even here at the basic level. Groups of similar cells, cells that have similar structure and function, make up tissues. Tissues that work in unison to carry out a specific set of functions form an organ, such as the turtle's brain that's bossing around all the other organs, or the heart pumping all the blood throughout its body. As organs work together, they form a connected system, an organ system. Additional functions are possible from that cooperation, which a single organ couldn't complete on its own, like digestion. The digestive system is formed by several connected organs that allows the function of digesting food. Some organs break down the food, while others specialize in absorbing nutrients and moisture. Turtles have very similar digestive systems to us humans, just an elongated trachea to fit that long, stretched out turtleneck. It all makes sense now. Organ systems together make up a living, growing organism like our turtle. So far, we've zoomed in from the organism down to the smallest unit of life. Now let's travel up through the layers. This turtle is an individual, like we said earlier but it's connected to all the other turtles in this area, and together they form a population. A population is a group of individuals of one species that occupies a certain geographic area. So all the turtles here at the pond would be the population. These turtles aren't the only living things here though. What about the dragonflies and the lily pads and this giant mushroom? The fish, these cattails, the frogs, ducks, and even this raccoon. They all belong to a population of their own, and they're all living and interacting here together at the pond to form a community. If you're still here liking this video, hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. A community is a group of populations of two or more different species occupying the same geographical area at the same time. It is important to remember that a community only contains the biotic or living elements. The interactions between those communities and the physical landscape make up ecosystems, our next layer. Think about all the birds and other animals that visit nearby ponds and all the abiotic and non-living elements like water clarity, temperature, amount of sunlight, and rainfall. The surrounding area and the abiotic factors together form the turtle's ecosystem. Life's levels of organization don't end there. If we keep zooming out, we find biomes, large regions of ecosystems sharing a similar climate. There is a diverse variety of biomes on Earth, including deserts, oceans, rainforests, savannas, temperate grasslands where our turtle lives, and more. Finally, we have arrived at the top level, the overarching umbrella connecting every other level of life, the biosphere, the collective sum of all life on Earth. All living things are connected, even if you can't see it. And we're still discovering ways that life interacts. Go outside, look around. What can you discover? If you want to keep learning, you can check out this video next.